Yo, what's going on? What's up? Welcome back to another video today, guys. Hope everyone's doing good. Everyone's doing well today. Today, we're bringing you, I guess, another express review for the guys who's new here. I don't know what express review is, pretty much. Um, long story short, it's just reviewing GR shoes that have no background information. And what I mean by background information, I mean any inspiration behind the shoe because, you know, here on this channel, we're like getting a detail of the actual sneaker, but these simple GRs, that's it. So, I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, jump into this review. All right, so kicking this off with the box, of course, standard box. You guys already know the deal. Limited the box reads Nike Dunk Low Retro, obviously. Colorway is black slash white off noir. And I, I forget, I, I didn't even like say the name of the shoe, but it is called the Black Panda. So, yeah, but let's go ahead and throw this up real quick. And you have guys the Nike Dunk Low Black Panda. And man, oh man, these uh, these actually surprised me because the quality isn't hot ass or cheeks. So let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, so cool. Now moving on to the insole of the shoe, because you got a black insole with the gray slash metallic Nike right there. You guys can kind of see that. There you go. Now moving on in a little bit closer, the inner lining material, the mesh material doesn't feel like hot ass, doesn't feel like cheeks, like any standard uh, dunk low. Feels like it might have pulled this material from like a Jordan 1 or something like that. Pretty nice, but yeah, inner lining material, it's black back of the tongue everything else now flip it on over you got a black tongue you got a black nike tag and a black nike it's kind of like the whole tongue just went stealth could you get white laces now on the other pair i did throw on some black laces so you guys can kind of see that this is from a jordan one as well they're so long but uh yeah comment down below what do you like more do you like the black laces in the shoe or the white laces it's it's kind of weird because it's like different tones of black like coming in and everything like that but yeah so Moving on, moving on, moving forward. Let that focus in one more time. Now you got this crazy leather right here. Now this is what I'm talking about. Like it's not ass. I feel like every dunk should have been like this. I feel like the dunk highs that I like and I got should have been like this with this type of leather quality. But right here in the toe box, um, side panel, even back here, man, like leather quality is not bad. It's pretty good. Now when you come to like the guard, the eye stand and this like, kind of rear panel right here of course it's still that same garbage dunk quality plastic leather but everything else is pretty cool it's pretty dope um pulling it back of course the color blocking is pretty much just the same color but two different tones such as the gray school pink i think they call them pink velvet or something like that those type of dunks uh they have the reverse pandas which is kind of weird because they dropped the reverse colorway before they dropped the actual colorway um and so forth and so on you know i throw pictures up there or whatever but yeah, so that's pretty much the color blocking of the sneaker, as you can see right here. It's like a lighter black and then a darker black. Um, but yeah, continuing on this review, of course, white midsole, black outsole, and that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the Nike Dunk Low Black Panda. All right, so now, cool. Finishing up with thoughts and opinions, and I'm just gonna stay off rip. If I didn't have the G900 Dunks, I would definitely keep these as like a shoe for daily wear slash beater, just because you can never go wrong with, you know, a black and white sneaker at all, especially something that's predominantly black. You can never go wrong with that. Uh, personally, for me, I would wear just, you know, shirt, joggers, just like this, and keep it moving, you know what I mean? But since I really don't need a shoe and I've been limiting myself, I'm just probably gonna let these go. But if I did not have the Junior 100 Dunks, these would definitely be thrown into the collection for shoe. But you guys let me know, what do you guys think about this? Are you guys liking this? Are you guys liking the reverse panda colorway? Or, yeah, let me know, are they trash? You're just, you're not messed with it at all. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up the video because everything goes a long way. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and everybody stay safe. See ya.